Hello everyone, in this video I will tell you how to subscribe 90 days trial version in Dynamics 365 or Power Apps. First you have to go to dev program URL and then you have to use your Gmail ID. And once you give the Gmail ID, you need to create a Microsoft account using the same Gmail account as I am doing here. So I am creating a new Microsoft account using my Gmail account and then providing here the country and the date of birth here. So once you uh, create a Microsoft account, it will send a code to your Gmail so that uh, it will be verified. Now here at this step, uh, the account is created, but you have to verify yourself as a human. Now, once the account is created, Microsoft account is created using your Gmail account. Uh, you have to uh, uh, you have to now take the uh, developer program uh, facility to login. So this is the join Microsoft 365 developer program. Here you need to provide your country, then company information. You can give any company of your choice, or you can give a factory company of your choice. So I'm giving here a future focus incorporation, and I'm selecting English as language, and click next. You have to click on I accept agreements, and click next. Once you click next, it will ask you what is the primary focus uh, for this subscription then you have to select the products that you want to take for the 90 days trial so select all it is a recommendation so click on save and because we need whole power platform uh, ecosystem then here you can choose instant sandbox or configurable sandbox i recommend to use configurable configurable sandbox because you can choose a custom domain of your choice click on configurable sandbox and click next here you need to provide the admin username first so give a username of your choice let's say i'm providing a username here uh, future uh, admin then you can create a domain here right providing a domain uh, of your choice i'm providing let's say future focus organization uh, it will automatically validate if it, if the domain is already available uh, otherwise you have to uh, provide a unique uh, uh, domain name let's let, let give uh, future focus org organization so that uh, it will create future admin at the rate future organization dot on microsoft.com so this will be the username for the user admin user now next is you have to uh, provide password for this uh, admin username that you are going to create you can provide a username uh, you can provide a password uh, with a, with uh, you know uh, 15 to 20 character and once you provide the password you have to confirm password uh, which will take you to the setup uh, section so provide the password you can give uh, a complex password it is better uh, so that you know you see the message is also showing here what should be the format of a complex password it is better you uh, create your password in a notepad and paste in both places so that uh, you can remember it later on also so once you have provided password and confirm password you have to click uh, next and once you continue you have to verify your phone number once you provide your phone number a verification code will be sent to your phone number and you have to provide the code here verification code and click setup so that the developer subscription will set up for you it will take a couple of seconds to set up now we are ready with microsoft 365 developer subscription where i will get sharepoint outlook everything and uh, you can add users also and add uh, product uh, license to users later on now the first thing is to create a new environment itself by default when you take microsoft 365 uh, subscription it will create a de default environment in power platform admin center uh, so use the same login to login the uh, office.com now it will uh, load the dashboard of office.com now we are ready with uh, applications now next thing is create a uh, go to admin power platform.com to create a new environment where we can build apps right so go to admin dot power platform.com and this is the admin dot power platform dot microsoft.com here go to environment and create a new environment by default you will see here default environment is there but default environment is that where we are not going to create application so create new environment by clicking new option and provide a name here environment name 
let me give a environment name as future dev and uh, i'll choose region as india and the type i will choose developer uh, environment okay now click on next in the next section you have to provide a url custom url for your environment if you click on the uh, here uh, link hyperlink you can provide the custom url otherwise it will create a random string to append in your uh, development environment url so let me give a future dev uh, which will append to my environment url so url will be future dev dot crm 8 dot dynamics dot com i click on save now on this environment we are going to create applications uh, that are uh, part of our platform or dynamics now it will take some couple of seconds to create your environment and the status is preparing so after uh, uh, some time the status becomes ready once it is ready you can go to make.parapps.com then you can switch to future day right so this is the environment that uh, will be used to uh, develop applications now we can work on solutions dataverse and everything thanks everyone for watching this video i hope you can create your development program watching this video bye